I know everybody's excited because um, the, the restrictions are lifted and we, and even us at the recreation department, we've been anxiously waiting and we found out that the re restrictions have been lifted. And so it's not gonna mean a whole lot of difference for us immediately, but I do have some good news. So everybody heard uh, previously that we canceled camps. Well, we had canceled camps in the form that we, we knew camps traditionally. We knew that no matter what, we weren't going to be able to offer the same camp product um, with the same um, locations, the same amount of campers under the same provisions with the same activities. And so we didn't want to sit on families money. So we knew that we had to begin refunding. And so we had done that and canceled our traditional camps. However, when we did that, we began planning for what would be the new restructured version of a camp type of product that we could offer. We know that that's going to be a very limited capacity um, where we were in uh, dozens of schools all across the county, including recreation facilities. We knew that access to many of those buildings would still not be available. And so what could we offer um, with what, what we have? And so we've been working on those plans and we're working on plans for indoor camps. And that's key because if you noted from the governor's um, press conference, Outdoor camps are the camps where provisions have been lifted and not the traditional indoor camps. So on Monday, you may see some opportunity for outdoor camps that are being offered by private groups or, uh, or nonprofits. Uh, but outdoor camps traditionally are those that might be a, a sports camp that um, has simply access to bathrooms, um, hand washing, and traditionally a shelter. So in case a storm or something might come up that they have a place to go. And so that's not the majority of camps that are offered across the county. The majority of camps that you see in the county are the traditional indoor based camps where, of course, we spend a great deal of time outside, um, but largely the camps are housed inside of facilities, inside of schools. And, um, and so we'll still be a little slow to, to get to where we can open those. Montgomery County Recreation won't have the outdoor camps opening um, on Monday, but you may see some private camps and nonprofit camps uh, potentially launching. So under the Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, as I mentioned, a lot of folks don't know, but they've got a very robust plan for communicable diseases. And so those are um, things that you know, can be spread that are, that are uh, airborne or in other ways. And so they'll be building on those plans to include um, proper use of PPE as mandated, where um, we, we know the state has um, issued a directive that campers nine years old and older will uh, have to use face coverings, that um, hand washing and sanitation um, processes and procedures will need to be outlined in those camp plans and um, strategies for even how I'm sure you'll see this from other camps. I really can't speak on behalf of other camps, but even in our own planning, I know that um, that the American Camp Association has put out very robust guidelines for camps across the country. Mm -hmm.